interview with Tony Garbalotto, assistant coach to GB on Barabo.com um, and also coach of London United, um, who have just decided to withdraw from the BBL. First of all, Tony, tell us about uh, GB first. Uh, must be absolutely thrilled to get a 30-point plus victory in a two-legged playoff. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, you know, we, we knew this was going to be a tough game, but um, we're playing good basketball. We've got, you know, obviously some great players on the team, and um, I think that this is, a, you know, a great, a great performance for the country, and hopefully, you know, we can finish the job on Saturday and uh, move ourselves to where we should real rightfully belong in, in the A group of, uh, of European basketball. Um, the first half, I think, defensively we were absolutely superb, but maybe offensively we didn't quite yeah, click, and I, I mean, think in the second half that rectified itself. Well, I mean, um, third quarter it did. I mean, you know, we've got a lot of things to work on. I felt that it was nowhere near the performance we had in Belarus. I think if anyone had seen the Belarus performance, they would have seen an unbelievable um, performance, both defensively and offensively. But I think that, um, I mean, you know, we, we played one great quarter. Um, we've got to look, look, go back, look at the video, and we've got to try to do some things better, and hopefully we can have an even better performance. Can I just ask, I mean, I, I suppose it's a difficult one to look too far ahead, but I mean, have you and Chris thought about what it means to be in Division A and, you know, what you could kind of do if you do get there? Well, I mean, you know, um, for, from our perspective, we saw what we can do in the summer. I mean, we played against Croatia, Finland, and, uh, and New Zealand in that tournament, and uh, that gave us the, you know, the appetite to play at that level. And, um, you know, we played with about Robert Archibald and Luol Deng, we were competitive with Croatia, we know that we would have had a better performance against Finland and we beat New Zealand and I think that we're ready to play at this level, we've got other players to come in to make the strength of the squad even stronger so I mean it will be really exciting to play against the Spains and the Italys in the, in the proper real you know, European basketball so yeah. And just finally domestically, um, obviously a very big disappointment about London United withdrawing from the BBL, do you want to clarify what the position was and what it is? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, First of all, I mean, you know, I'm bitterly disappointed because um, the club had um, really, really worked hard from the last game of the season all the way up until, you know, Friday when the decision was made to withdraw the team. Um, the club has worked, you know, really hard restructuring itself, putting all the little things in place which weren't there last year. Um, just, you know, great stuff happening. And, um, you know, we were very close to signing two big sponsors throughout the summer. We were even meant to have a sponsor signed after the end of the season. And, um, you know, it was, uh, you know, what, what do you want to say? Bad luck, you know, um, fate, I don't know. I mean, but the bottom line was the funding that we were promised by um, both sponsors and also some other core funding that we were, we were, we were promised that hadn't, that didn't materialize. And um, unlike the season before, you know, last season, we weren't able to run. And, you know, from my personal perspective, it was, it was disappointing because, you know, London needs two strong franchises. We feel that we had an aspirational situation where we were, you know, in the Olympic boroughs, we were servicing the community, we were trying to get to a bigger, better situation, a better arena, um, you know, bigger type basketball, so, you know, to grow with the BBL. And I feel that, you know, we were let down, you know, by some, you know, by people, but, you know, we, we, we only have to look at ourselves and hope that um, the people that are talking to us at this moment will, will come back and say, right, you know, we really want to make this happen for the season afterwards and London United can come back stronger than, stronger than ever. Great, Tony. Thanks for your time. Thank you.